One man is growing old and one man is being told that his land is not his own now. He has no place called home. He must learn to be and grow and find time to feed his soul. When he learns to be alone, he will find that he is whole. Good evening, everybody. You're listening to Making Life Brighter Radio, and this is a special supplement. If you listen to the Quantum Galaxy Network's new Making Life Brighter on the Variety Channel on Voice America, you can hear it also on iTunes. You can subscribe on iTunes. You can hear it on iHeart, Spotify. We are all over the world. And we just did the most amazing interview with Dr. Sandra Michaels. And so I invited her to come and continue that conversation right here. And I am so honored to have her, her research, her heart, her soul, and all the things that she stands for in bringing this world together to a better place and making our lives brighter is everything that we could hope for as we prepare the planet for the golden age and her technology couldn't be more keeping with that so we were talking on making life brighter radio about the ee system technology that she has developed in which features scalar healing light but it's much more than that and we had a wonderful conversation so if you'd like to go over and hear the archive of that you can go to voiceamerica.com and you can find Making Life Brighter on the Variety Channel there. Now, just to properly introduce this very special lady, she was a child of genius scientists. She grew up playing with Tesla energy and all things Tesla technology. Uh, her technology that she's since developed which started in 1978 and brought out some of the military to her doorstep in Golden, Colorado, when it was uh, launched in 1996 there, I believe, or 86. 96, yeah. 96. Yes, she, she has <laughs> broken the barriers and worldwide for that matter. Dr. Sandra Michaels has been awarded a grand honor of being considered a, a kahuna and recognized as a kahuna. She has continued her work for humanity by being knighted for her humanitarian services. And she has focused her scalar research at the experts conference of that. She has uh, participated in regenerative technology and anti-aging congresses. She has focused her work on healing of cancers of all kinds of anomalies and illnesses, and they are seeing tremendous differences using this technology. She has earned her recognition, such as the presidential and international who's who. She's lectured at the United Nations at MIT, the World Health Summit. She's been a part of the Harvard Club and London's Royal Society of Medicine and Mount Sinai Medical School. And as I said, she's been seen all over the world. She's been on TV and you've seen her on CNN. You've seen her on Fox News and the doctors. You've seen her uh, at the Beverly Hills Times and she has toured across the country on all of the most important awakening tours. She's been on tour with our dear friends that we've had here. She's been on tour with Sasha Stone. She's been on tour with Patriot Street Fighter Scott McKay, and they've shared Holy Communion of waking up the world together. So without further ado, please welcome Dr. Sandra Michaels here to Making Life Brighter. Thank you for being here with us, Doctor. Well, thanks for having me on, Winifred. <laughs> we're, we're having a, we had a great time with the previous interview. Let's see what, where we go with this one. Yes, we, <laughs> We, well, first of all, let's just dive deep, right? We're, we're just going to like get into this as we go. Uh, I want to know, and our audience would like to know, beyond your uh, technology that you've developed, which we will continue to talk about, let's go cosmic. 
let's go out there a little bit. You are not the average ordinary individual. It's obvious. You're a doctor. You started out studying, well, you were brought up in, in technology and in Tesla technology, but you, you studied your sciences and chiropractic and, and holistic medicine, but your knowledge comes from beyond. So where are you from technically in the beyond now that you're back on earth, bringing some of these remembrances to the earth plane? Yeah, I'm on a mission from God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm actually in the bloodline of Martin Luther. So we talked about that in the ground. Yeah. He led a reformation, but he was a heretic too. So you could, <laughs> I have been called a witch a few times, a few times too many. You're a good but, witch though. <laughs> you are, you're a good witch. <laughs> but once burnt, twice shy, because I came in with my memories of past lives. So, yeah. Amen. so that's part of what I'm pulling from is is calling forth that wisdom that knowledge from the past and and then uh you know of course i was this is an, i'm here on assignment i'm sent i'm on a mission literally but you did ask that earlier and, and i'm from beta centauri as far as a home planet per se even though i came through the pleiades because that's kind of the step down to be able to work with this planet but you know this is not your normal interview uh, material for me <laughs> that's okay we, we're we're breaking barriers we're breaking ground because truly i think our audience is becoming more and more cosmic and they do want to know the origins of things i mean everything is looking at ancient civilizations we've had on brad olson we've had on people that are talking about the word and where the word comes from and the stories we're telling and Lee J. McCloskey and people like that and you know visionaries way showers so you're sort of a med medical visionary you've been sent here if we can say it that way but you have brought some very profound science to the point where the military has shown up on your doorstep and said hey what's going on over here <laughs> and it's really pure spiritual science but, uh, you know, there was a hit piece done on me in, a, a, a little while back. And one of the things that they said was that I claimed that I was working on the ships or I, I built this technology on the ships. Well, that wasn't technically correct. I don't know how they got that. <laughs> but, but I was asked to bring uh, what we called the recalibration chambers on the uh, on the motherships. Um, you know, in the galactic when you say that. generation. Huh? I have chills when you say that. I... Yeah, we called it the recalibration chambers for putting the DNA back to its original matrix when you're going hyperspace or going to different planets and things like that. And so that was one of the things I was asked to recreate here was that. But also we had to listen because this has been an interesting planet as far as a, a great experiment in the use of free will, you know, a free will zone. And it was a grand experiment in, in that our DNA was seeded by all these different galactic races. And so they all had to have their input when I was creating this technology because it's about bringing the DNA to its highest potential. Right. Going forth all the Everybody wisdom. Everybody that contributed DNA had to kind of weigh in on what you were doing. How did you work with them? How did that happen? Did you see them? Did you work by just envisioning them? How did it come to you? Uh, sometimes it just materialized, but they all had to have their input and to, <laughs> into, because it's about bringing all of our DNA. There is no junk DNA, <laughs> 12 strands. We want to bring all of it to the highest potential of, of our the greatest design, our greatest life, our greatest light. You know, we, you know, we are meant to be the Christ of beings. Christ said everything he did more we're to do. And we're infinite, powerful sons and daughters of God. So, and that's what we're here to manifest now is a new heaven and a new earth. You know, and this is that time of, uh, you know, we've waited a long time for this time. It's the apocalypse, which is the great revelation, the great revealing. Everything's being revealed, being exposed. And and we're in this great, you know, like I say, the planet is in very, very deep shift. 
I love that. <laughs> and the shift has really hit the fan of accelerated evolution. <laughs> and it was so funny because I, I had heard for decades, the great awakening cannot, will not be stopped. The great awakening cannot, will not be stopped. And now what do we hear? It's all about this great awakening. Uh, we're there. You know, and then this whole thing with my technology, I was told to create this and it was about creating the quantum leaps of consciousness and uh, how do we bring healing to the world? And you can't do that one on one practitioner dependent and, you no. know, time and energy and practitioner dependent. I'm going, how do we bring healing to the world? I'm a master healer and I spent decades you know, seeing anything and everything heal, but there's only so many people I could personally teach or touch or train. And this was like, how, wait a minute, how do we, how do we heal the world? We got so much to turn around. <laughs> how do we bring it? How your systems came to be, the EE system that you created. And I was told to do this. <laughs> so, and told all about this time with, you know, with the so-called flu that was really a bioweapon and, and uh, this um, thing that's not really <laughs> what they say it is. This right. When were you told that? And, and that? and that we had to create this to be the counterpoint to what? all the other rep weaponry and all these different things that somebody had to create the counterpoint. Yeah, and ironically, that the counterpoint is the zero point. <laughs> yes, <laughs> zero point energy balance. <laughs> it's about creating the balance and, and through all aspects of being, of life on this planet. And we've waited a long time for this time, but, uh, you know, it's, we're really there, <laughs> you know, as far as, so I was also told that when this went out, it had to be everywhere fast. Before that, I've been doing the homework, doing the research, doing, laying the foundations, you know, so that couldn't be stopped. And that when it went out, it had to be everywhere fast. So that's where we are right now, trying to get it all over the world fast. And so we've ramped everything up. Um, so people can connect with you and, and create these centers as well. And let's go back to something you touched on in between in the last interview on radio. You mentioned about the pyramids and the pyramids being a conductor. You have history with the pyramids. Let's go into that a little bit because it speaks to your star, your star origin and you know your knowledge that comes from cosmic wisdom and time and space? Well, those are scalar generators. You know, they create a standing column wave and that was all about the energy and the grids on the planet and things like that. Um, but it's also about um, the mystery school teachings. And, um, and when did you first forward. experience that and, and go there and, and um, have your, your deeper dive there? Uh, well, yes, I've been there six times this life. <laughs> yeah, this lifetime. <laughs> Amen. In fact, started in 1991, going going to Egypt. <laughs> so very, Wait. very interesting, uh, interesting memories there. What happened to the you when you there? Oh, gosh. <laughs> and besides them trying to kill me every time I went? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They went that wasn't, that right. part wasn't so fun. <laughs> Uh, no, but it's very, it's very activating there. Um, you know, okay. the, have the memories and the, and walls do talk. And so, you know, calling forth a lot of knowledge from the past. Yeah. And you're channeling that knowledge now into these systems. But before we jump into the systems, let's just remind everybody, you've been on tour, you've been around the United States more recently as I mentioned with Sasha Stone and Scott McKay and the Arise Freedom Tour. Yeah. Yes. Really and important because I'm born on Constitution Day. When I talk, you know, I was mentioning how we're here in the fulfillment of all the prayers, all the promises and all the prophecies. Well, we're born for this time. You know, I'm born in the bloodline of Martin Luther. I came in doing all of Tesla's work. I was conceived where Tesla had his power plant and doing all of his experiments. I just went back there recently to uh, Niagara Falls. That's where I was conceived on my parents' honeymoon after meeting in engineering physics. 
But my mother, the nuclear physicist, visioning plutonium, working on the bomb the whole time she was pregnant with me. And my dad, the aerospace, electrical, mechanical, structural engineer. And he worked on stealth bombers. And I'm going, how do we heal all of this? <laughs> you came in as the antidote. That's what it was. <laughs> how do we heal all of this? Ah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a kind of an interesting, but we're born for this time. I was also born on Constitution Day. So, so the Arise Freedom Tour, um, I think it's really, really important thing that we were, you know, well, we had, you know, I'm part of the um, International Tribunal for Natural Justice, and we had done the emergency hearings. Uh, and it was like eight emergency hearings when COVID started, you know, with all you know, those hearings are phenomenal. I'd recommend anybody who really wants to know the truth, uh, check out committee, uh, committee.itnj.org, committee.itnj, International Tribunal for Natural Justice, itnj.org. That's where you'll find those hearings, lots of information. I remember uh, those hearings. I, I was... Um fascinated with what was going on there. Tell us why you, why you're focusing on that. What was it about them that made it so unique? Well, you know, because it's the truth that sets us free <laughs> and the cells vibrate and resonate with the power of truth. And that's what all of my healing has been based on that power of truth and, and that sort of truth to cut through the BS <laughs> of all these lies, because this was, it was all based on fraud, all based on lies, and it's crimes against humanity. And if we don't stand up and use our voice, we don't have one. But going out with the Arise Freedom Tour was about reminding people, showing people that they can, could connect and be active locally. They were hopeless. It gave the people hope again and gave them what to do. So such uh, radical concepts of, of uh, people standing up at their city council meetings <laughs> or their school board meetings. <laughs> and, and, yes. and if we don't use our voice, that's what this was about, you know, taking away our smiles, yes. you know, taking away our healing energy, taking away our voice. Where, you know, we don't use our voice, we don't, you know, it's like we've got to speak up. And the more we each speak our own truth, the more it allows others to step up and speak their truth. And if you hold back out of fear of fear of persecution or prosecution, the more others hold back out of fear of prosecution. And that's how this was all set up in the first place. Do you see layering in that. Hmm? Do you see the change coming? We're in it. People are stepping up. People are waking up. You know, more and more people every single day. But how bad does it have to get for people to wake up already? <laughs> how many children have to die? I mean, the, the deaths that we're seeing, the increase in, the, you know, if you look at the steps, you know, because I'm a researcher, you know, you look at the, the excess deaths and yeah. the deaths, you know, sudden, America, uh, sudden adult death syndrome. Well, all the heart issues that are happening right now, and look at, I have a whole bunch of um, people that have come recently. It's almost like a time clock went off. And in the last mm, maybe four or five months, people have been having heart issues suddenly. And, you know, that's people yeah. that have experienced the thing. They, uh, they're having heart swelling, heart, heart problems of all kinds, young old it doesn't matter it's not an age related issue this is serious there's an acceleration in in tumors there's an acceleration in all kinds of things that are happening so your right. technology couldn't come at a better time really it was made for this time and needed more now than ever that's all you know it's you know yeah so we've got a lot to turn around lots to heal well in the why we're here Yes. And with that, how, how were you given a vision of the future in terms of the technology was downloaded to you or you worked with, um, you worked with the aliens to bring it forth and all the DNA and the bloodlines and, and those that were called to work with you to bring this forward here on earth. And then 
of course, the government recognized, governments, plural, recognized you're doing this. And you set it up in Golden, Colorado, and you launched off the EE system with its technology. So let's just kind of recap that system so people that are new can understand what that is. Let's talk about its, its efficacy and why you're bringing this to this time frame, this timeline now. Yeah, it was called the EE system, energy enhancement system, and it's a true biosalar photonic fusion technology. So, but and essentially what we've, what we've talked about is the power that made the body heals the body. And when the body has the right energy, there isn't anything it doesn't want to heal. And it's activating the light within the core of the DNA. It's also about bringing the DNA back to its highest potential. It's, it's you know, we have designer genes. You know, we need our designer genes turned on. <laughs> we need to put on our designer genes and be those true sons and daughters of God to walk the planet as the fully realized God, goddess beings, you know, um, sons and daughters of God, the Christed beings. So it, it is about the, that embodiment of our light and our love, because ultimately it's only our love that will ever save us. And that's why the heart issues also, you know, everything is about opening up our hearts, you know, and radiating yeah. love to touch the hearts of all beings to feel more love, because that's ultimately all anybody really wants. And that is what heals, that it's the power of love. But it is pure science. I mean, I, I could talk all the pure medical, all the pure physics, we can talk all of that. Um, so it is real science. But and it's an interesting time that we're in because it is a great awakening. And well, you were on that tour with these gentlemen. And what was it like to be such a powerful kahuna and female on that tour among <laughs> these these way shower men <laughs> what was that like uh, uh, I just felt very ble very blessed to be able to deliver a message that people could resonate and feel everybody else talking about all this stuff I'd have people stand up and and breathe that light in through the top of the head the spinal column being that standing column of light and being aligned by the light with light as light and the highest powers of love here on earth now <laughs> yes. so you can stand in your power in your light in your love always knowing all that you stand for and stand up we have to stand up and being like that pillar in the temple of god being that pillar in the temple of god when we all stand together god wins yes yeah. stand up and do not stand down keep keep standing in your truth in your light in your power no matter what and so the medallions and bracelets were designed for that too where people go into the technology and get charged up but how do you maintain that charge or how do you maintain the integrity of your dna so that it's more like almost like teflon in a good way <laughs> so if people are lifelong meditators let's say that they're very advanced spiritually if they've come into the the light sound field they're they're realized how does the technology then affect those that are, let's say, more advanced in that? What does it do for them? We, we need them to be the super beings, the superheroes. <laughs> no, every healer we need like on steroids. I mean, you know, you know, yeah, we do. And, and turned on. But, uh, but also the research is that you can go to a deeper meditational state than a Tibetan monk in seven minutes in the technology. I mean, that is the actual research. So it's a way to become a super meditator <laughs> because of the way it synchronizes right in left brain hemispheres and its ideal optimal meditational states. So you can go into that state of, of super knowledge, super being, or I'd tell people to breathe and let themselves just know whatever God wants them to know. You know, like we did kind of on the break, I said, what do they want you to know? Let yourself know, use the energy to turn up the volume on your own inner knowing to let yourself know all that there is to know. The knowing which allows all things to totally heal, to totally clear as issues in your own body, your life, your relationships, 
and for the whole world now. Why not? Well, we believe in the now hyphen space here, and you met Fulcol and Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould on this tour as well, and you're still in contact with him. And yeah. how did that, uh, because we have a lot of quantum people here, how did that affect you when you met him? Because you're coming from this space, although I don't really think they're entirely different. Yeah, he had been wanting to meet me. I had been wanting to meet him. It was it was like a great reunion when we met. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because we're both scientists too, you know. Oh. So, uh, and I love his work. I think he's a great American hero. Uh, and then I did, I, I did get invited as a special guest for the quantum languaging. Mind-boggling what he, you know, the homework that he's done. But this is the thing: we've all been doing our homework. Yes. For this time. And then but what's really powerful is when we come together, we have to be the greater community. The only thing the brilliant idiots have had going is they've been a, a lot better organized, really. <laughs> yeah. Know? But Maybe. we have to come together. As soon as we stand up together, it's over. God wins. Yeah. It is over. Well, and I really acknowledge his work again, being that born on Constitution Day with what he's done with the Title IV flag and and the quantum languaging and what he's done. You know, so much homework, and somehow or other, we've all made it through what we've made throughout. Made it through. I tell people I wouldn't be here. The only reason I'm still alive is Archangel Michael. You know, he's a great guardian angel. But you saw some of my other guardians right, right. <laughs> very protected. And, and the joke is I'm the one that does the double blonde studies. But also we use this joke when I was traveling too. I, I really uh, get it. That's great. <laughs> and that's why I talked about science could be sexy. I talked about that a little bit. I'll have to go back to the first interview. <laughs> But it's about being in oneness with the orgasmic energy of creator and creation that space conjugate wave pairs come together. But um, anyway. <laughs> Who said blondes were dumb? Blonde <laughs> studies. Science can be sexy. It's all very much so. Um, but where was I going with that? Wait a minute. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we're segueing about the visitors that came in and um oh yeah the, no the other big joke as a kahuna because i am formally recognized as the great white kahuna right etc but I, I i would say it's not about me being a kahuna it's about you're all kahunas should you choose to accept it because what kahuna means kami is a keeper or knower of the mysteries and secrets of life right and it's all within us. So we want everybody to stand in their power and their light and their love, knowing all that God wants them to know, right? In their mission, their purpose. We're here to in the fulfillment of all of our highest purposes. But the big joke that, you know, somebody was praying for me for my protection. And, and she she saw all these big kahunas. And, and that, so that's my other big joke that I would tell is that I have very, very big kahunas. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's the truth. She saw them. <laughs> I love it. That's really great. Well, it's true. You have big kahunas, only they are uh, in multiple forms. Some of them are kahunas. Some of them are aliens of different races. <laughs> <laughs> and some yeah. of her angels. I had somebody else tell me how I was, you know, and he'd been a colonel, a Fulberg colonel at Area 51. And uh, tell me how he's seen the $3 million med beds and our technology is far superior and all that stuff. But one of the things that they said was, uh, you know, you're very, very protected by the Galactic Federation. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> yeah. And I work, I think I work all of them over time. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you ever feel like when you go to bed at night, you're not actually sleeping, you're actually working in other dimensions? Always, always. <laughs> I figured as much. What can you share with the audience about whale energy? Oh, the whales are like the keepers of the DNA and there's dolphin whale frequencies in our technology that is a part of it. So it's interesting that you ask about that. 
<laughs> because um, that is incorporated into it because it's very, very significant, very important uh, um, that that be in as part of it because they're part of our uh, records and DNA, et cetera, and very, very important. They really want our technology on ships in the ocean. <laughs> So maybe that'll be coming soon. So does the military use this technology for their own people? Does, do they regenerate their people using this? Yes. Uh, they've had different, different ones in the space program, but a lot, of, a lot of military now are using our technology, yes. Mm -hmm. a lot with, you know, a lot with military. You know, people with this, you know, uh, secret space program, super soldiers, things like that. They understand my technology better than anybody else, pretty much. <laughs> Your technology, just so people know, and you can go back to the archive on Making Life Brighter and Voice America and listen to the previous interview, is that you are in a room and this is broadcast as a frequency around you and you basically enter a field of energy that she has um, brought down and developed and proven scientifically is is um, an effective wave frequency that amplifies your original dna structure and brings it back to its blueprint is that correct did i get that right more fields than frequencies i mean it's a full spectrum of frequencies it's not any one specific frequency okay. it's a full spectrum that the body relates to as ideal optimal brain states ideal optimal energies for the body those fields and it's dense, intentional, informational fields as well, you know, that, uh, that the DNA actually relates to. And we talked about the DNA repair, you know, with the covalent hydrogen bonds and things like that. So it's, it's working to activate the light at the core of the DNA, because at the core of the DNA, that's, you know, it is the stuff from the stars. It's the stardust, but you can see that as our star seed, you know. Yes. And but no. it's out. yeah, that we are the prime function of DNA storage of photons are quantums of light. And the quantum field that this creates is a quantum field that you say is so familiar for animals and so familiar for people when they lay down in it, their body begins to not only uh, grow the telomeres, but it's detoxing in a, in a way. And uh, the detoxing leads to some of the clean out so that you can optimize your body systems and then function on all frequencies with expanded DNA. Is that correct? Right. And expanded consciousness because your ideal optimal meditational states where people can just know all of a sudden get those ahas and just know whatever is important for them to know for their own higher purpose, their own greatest life, their own you know greatest love. Uh, so there's there's that sense of knowing that for animals it's very very easy they go to the sweet spot in the room they just get it and, and crazy miracles I, I just got sense more miracles with animals how they you know the vet wanted to you know wanted to put them put them down and instead they're running around like a puppy again <laughs> well that let's let's talk we've been focusing on the show um, with the stem cell patches and talking about stem cell technology and the te technology patches. If you wore the stem cell technology patch and went into the field, would it activate the patch more because it's crystalline made? Or It's designed to make any and every other healing modality work better because there's greater coherence. I talked about a 28% increase in the electrical conductivity, well, that's your cell signaling, et cetera. So any kind of intentionality is going to be brought more fully through the whole body very quickly. But also our technology is activating and mobilizing the body's stem cells. So that's part of how it actually works. So it would, it would be a very supportive, it's not a conflict. It's, you know, right. it's, it's not redundant necessarily. It would be, it would be in, um, but you're, you're immersing yourself in the field. The stem cells, stem cell patches you walk around with and you can keep them on you or whatever, but you go into this field and you spend like two hours in this and then you come out and you, you recommend doing the detox bath after that at home. Right. 
because the body has a charge and it wants to discharge everything that does not belong, everything that's not part of your greater light, <laughs> your own brilliance. The body wants to clear out the cobwebs, clear out the garbage. You know, first thing body wants to do when it has more energy is clean house. It's like all of a sudden you have more energy to get to all the things that you just didn't have enough energy to get around to. And you're cleaning out your drawers and your closets and reorganizing. <laughs> That's what the body does. And every time you go in, it's cumulative and the body takes the energy and reorganizes to another higher level of function. Now, the toxicity, it, it, it's kind of like peeling an onion. And some of those layers stink more than others. Yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's where that detox bath becomes very, very important. Sometimes you literally smell that stuff coming off. But, the you know, we've had like a little boy with, um, with autism. His mother is a doctor. Um, the first bath, the water turned black. Or I had somebody else that was a steel worker, you know, um, and he said the six, first six baths he did turn the color of steel. He got his magnet out. It's, he said it felt like steel shavings in the bottom of the tub. So he's got his magnet and picked it up. Unreal. That's, you know, yeah. people don't realize. I mean, we're talking heavy metal detox here <laughs> without <laughs> doing chelation. <laughs> yeah, forget chelation. We're going for it all, all in one, right? right and through this but that speaks to uh the mechanics of how this gets moved out of the cells so i can say from personal experience of being in the field um it, it felt a bit like an altered state is the best way i can describe that and as i mentioned on the radio show my dog went under the table and passed out immediately um he just let go into the field in in immediately and the state of being, I'm going to say it this way, it's like suspended. It feels like it's just suspended. You're in, you're in suspension. Now, I'm a meditator, so I understand the, the feeling of going within and going deeply or moving through the veil and all that. But this felt very relaxed and suspended. And I can't, um, you, I don't know if you play music with it or not. She may have had music on. I don't remember, actually. It was more of the feeling of the suspension that really got me. It's a so, zero point. It is a true zero point technology beyond relative time and space. Okay. So it, it is that kind of a, an interesting time warp that you feel like you're in. <laughs> now, do you do this at home? Do you do this in your own space? Is this something you do? Of course. <laughs> often i mean do you is it part of what you do yeah i mean i i every time i get off a plane or come back I'm, i i sleep in the 16 units i have another system around my bed that but we have a 16 unit my daughter has 12 units around her bed uh, we've got three cubes running in this space right now besides you know the ee cubes are running three of them well, maybe so, that's what i feel i can i still feel it in my head I said this on the on the show before, but I, I do. I really do. <laughs> Each time we talk about it, maybe it's the radiation in your own home. I don't know. But um, <laughs> you have had some um, experiences that we might call or refer to as uh, being hit by energy that's not appropriate for human optimization on these tours. And when you put yourself out there broadcasting to the world, <laughs> yeah we've taken some hits I, I was the only one on the tour that did not get sick <laughs> yeah. thank god because of my technology and you know but being on tour i didn't have my technology to sleep with or anything but but just using charged supplements and wearing medallions and bracelets and and one of the things that you mentioned feeling it uh, we had a lot of feedback from the Revolution of Healing uh, interview I did with Jason Shurka, and we had the double Q in the background running. And people said they just kept going into very, very deep states or feeling like they were getting major healings just watching. Yes. You know. And since then, he's done EE e system transmissions where it's an hour of just the cube running. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, because it, do, it does broadcast. And like I said, the body wants that 
ideal energy and wants to pick it up. And of course, you're going to be reminded because you did experience it. And it's cumulative. So yeah. the, but the, the cells literally get excited. It's an excitation of the cells. And it's like a bit of a buzz, right? The, like, like Yeah, I feel it in my whole frontal lobe area as we're speaking now. And um, it's expanded consciousness and opening up the the pineal gland, the decalcification of the pineal gland, all that, you know, because it creates decalcification of tissue through the whole body. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the key right now. It seems like everything is constricted and, and well, coagulating and calcifying. And so this is a perfect time to introduce this technology and have people in mass use it. And that's your plan, right? I mean, that's yeah. And the oxygenation of the blood you see with all our all of our blood studies and blood work, you see that total total um, oxygenation of of the blood, you know, from hypoxic conditions where the blood's all stuck together and sticky blood, you know, the clotting, etc., yeah. to totally free flowing and fully oxygenated. So. Exactly, and um, now more than ever. I think like I see the the need with frontline workers because I don't think our um, emergencies are going to go away. And I do believe in the golden age and I do believe in the new earth as people are saying, I'm not sure about a flat earth, but I believe in the new earth. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, not so much the flat earth. But <laughs> yeah, I'm not really into the flat earth myself, but I respect that. That's cool. Whatever. But I mean, the, the frontline workers, I, maybe it's just because of the empathy, but I really feel all of them are very strained at this time. And what you're doing on tour is giving them uh, hope as well. You're giving everyone a reminder to stand up, speak the truth, but know who you are and don't forget who you are. Right. And we have a lot of, uh, like Florida, right? We just had this terrible, horrific hurricane that, oops, it changed direction. And now entire groups of uh, souls are challenged and they're going to be challenged for some time. But the people that have to respond to the challenge, once you have many of these, how do we come through that? So I see your technology as a beautiful assist for first responders, for hospital workers, for people, maybe even hospitals. Hmm? Right. We, we do have it going into a hospital in South America right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. We're in Sao Paulo. <laughs> yeah. And so it's interesting, all the different things that the different projects going on. Well, that's where you, you could contact uh, the chief uh, full colon Russell hyphen J colon Gould because he has um, reformatted all hospitals technically under his system so they're, mm. they're not inappropriate vessels in dry dock anymore and um, that might break a barrier for putting this kind of thing in place for people to really benefit passively and they don't even realize they're benefiting whereas you may run into a roadblock prior to that but I believe that's an application based on the conversations I've been a part of personally that could. Yeah. Uh, Cause you've got to create the future. Yeah. And isn't it interesting that he's using quantum grammar and perfect mathematical uh, yeah. sentences forward and back, and you're using all of the sacred geometry and mm -hmm. the Fibonacci cycle in the technology, right? So here we go with the mathematical equation. And he's been, he's, He's been here in our technology, of course, as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. No. But no. it's the same. It's speaking forward and back. It's still the, it's equal. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that people need to understand is the paradigm of linear that we've come from is about to end. And it's going into what you're bringing down is this quantum field and the quantum field, i.e. the zero point experience. Yeah, and he calls neutrality. Yes, right neutrality the neutral space mm -hmm. if you where do you see everything going in the next year what's your take on where we're headed right now well the future can't be stopped <laughs> the great awakening people are waking up in spite of everything and it's more that's going to be more and more 
of that and creating uh, the, the future that we want. But there's going to be a destructuring of the old systems. They're imploding. They don't work anymore. They're falling apart every which way. And it could be a little bumpy here and there. But, but the other side of it is more magnificent than anybody can even possibly imagine. Yeah, for I concur. I, I, I believe that's coming. I saw that a long time ago. And yes, so we'll new be- heaven and New Earth through us. We're, that's why we're here on the planet at this time, is to help usher in this new golden age of enlightenment. Yes, we'll we'll all be the as I as I joke the triage department and technology that's being brought forth like what you're doing and in, in the brilliance of the insight that's coming through you is now available to people so that they can take advantage of that healing and expedite their healing and optimize their systems. So, mm -hmm. as we move forward into this golden age time frame, you're saying there could be some bumps in the road. How do you see the financial system? now and in the near future? Well, I mean, obviously, it's not the great reset that they talk about so much <laughs> and and not the, uh, you know, the, the climate change version that, because, yeah, the climate change has been from geoengineering. <laughs> so and using Tesla, using scalar weaponry, and that's been weaponizing the biosphere, weaponization of the biosphere. Uh, so I think it's going to come down to uh, these people being arrested for crimes against humanity and the stoppage of this kind of um, violation on this planet. So in the meantime, it's like I had to create technology to be the counterpoint because we're being bombarded 24-7 with the EMF, ELF, radiation, microwave, you know, all this stuff 24 seven. And it, so you had to create a technology to counter the technology that's being utilized against us of all the scalar weaponry or mind control because the mind control frequencies and they've got that whole thing is a major science. And, you know, and just like I've, I've worked with Kathy O'Brien and some of these different different ones from the MK Ultra programs and things like that. And I, and I really have to say, you know, with, I usually wear my Save the Kids t-shirt, right? right. <laughs> because that's why we do what we're doing. But also those dumbs, people need to know that those deep underground military bases, the dumbs and the tunnels and what's been being done with children, the underpinning of everything that we're dealing with, the underpinning of all of it is that satanic ritual abuse. It's disgusting. It's it's horrifying, really. And I really want to protect the innocent people that don't know this is happening, but we can't actually. They have to come to understand yeah. what's been happening. Well, the, and how it's how it's they've gotten away with it this long is that nobody could possibly believe anybody could do that kind of evil. And so it's got to be exposed. It's got to be brought to light. You know what's been dark to light and uh but it's about the women the mothers yeah. the grandmothers this prophecy too the grandmothers stepping up and saying enough already <laughs> this ends now <laughs> stop this and the mama bears and but the grandmothers um we don't care <laughs> you know <laughs> you know i'm 69 now what are you going to do to me <laughs> right i have four <laughs> grandkids i have four kids four grandkids we want a planet. <laughs> That's right. Well, you don't look 69 at all. You you look much younger. And I think you're optimizing um, with the technology. And the technology is also going to be helpful when people get exposed to the truth, when they realize, because their whole world will turn upside down. I mean, we're a little bit used to it. We're seasoned. We've been through yeah. some things. But it's about how do we bring healing to the masses? Right. And the people that are. And this is so easy. It's not operator dependent. It's people go in a room and take a nap. I mean, it's so, so easy. And like, like the animals are children. So we have such miracles with children. Just, I mean, we need birthing centers with it and all that because it, it's so ideal 
for, us, for some of the childbirth and all that this you know so it's good it's just hyper healthy energy there is no contraindication when my doctor says if you have dna then get in it <laughs> you know it, 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 it is that you know but like the the dogs the cats i don't have to explain anything to them they get carried in i had a cat brought in like this was on dialysis was you know, skin and bones, couldn't walk, wasn't eating. They, you know, they wanted her to put her cat down. She'd had the cat since he was a kitten, brought him in, put him in the system, in the middle of the system. Okay, Be after two hours, he got up and drank, started drinking water. Yeah, spirit. Okay, second time back, he came and jumped into the middle of the bed, went straight to that center point, stayed there period. Yeah. <laughs> the cat lived another five, six years, something like that. Didn't have a, didn't have a system at home. <laughs> Probably would have lived longer if they brought the cat more. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. And, but the cat went from not able, you know, dialysis on, you know, in injections. I mean, just skin and bones couldn't walk. So every vet going up and down the stairs itself and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Veterinarian centers across the United States could put this in use in like the room where they hold the animals and so on and in surgery rooms. And well, mm -hmm. I don't know how that would work for the doctors, but uh, you know, in the great for the doctors <laughs> in the resting rooms anyway. <laughs> so you want them to be doing right to have the energy to make better decisions in all their work. <laughs> it's great for surgeons. <laughs> but think about the, the application here is what I'm, I'm getting at to expand people's minds that with all the clinical research that you've done with this and all the case histories and the testimonials that you're, you've accrued, it would have a broad application all the way across the board especially right. in medical centers. So as we see the, as you talk about the bumpiness that's upcoming and we'll take the hurricane as, you know, an example, mm -hmm. you know, we may see earthquakes, earthquakes and tsunamis and things like that upcoming as well, as well as just who knows what humans might do. Yeah. Well, this is designed to create like earth acupuncture. We were talking about uh, the grids. There we go. Yeah. It's okay. like Hessa's work goes through the planet. And so it's like earth acupuncture balancing out the grids within the planet and around the planet. And, and so it's gonna, it's designed to make this whole transition a lot easier for everybody. That's really important. You know, I was going to say earlier, um, we were talking about whales and we were talking about kind of touching on data keepers and so on. I had uh, one of the ancient crystal skulls come visit in <laughs> Malibu and uh, Einstein. And I was uh, having the remembrance with Einstein. And Einstein was at the time working on the water. But wouldn't it be neat to put one of those ancient crystal skulls that was not made here on earth? Right, they're fascinating, the, yeah. <laughs> in the middle of your system. Yeah as part of this time data keeping because that's what they are they're data keepers and i right. wonder how that would transmit <laughs> yeah. to and from yeah that's very very interesting well, I'll put you in touch with carolyn ford and you can <laughs> maybe get einstein in the in the system so i think there's so many things that you bring to the table with your research and all the things that you're offering in heart and soul now, where will you be on tour next? What's happening in, in your tour schedule? Well, this week, there's a biomed conference here in Las Vegas. And uh, so I'll be, I'll be speaking on Saturday at that, Saturday, 11 o'clock. And that does live stream. Uh, so I'll be, be here in Vegas with them. And there's some great people. I think Brad's at this as well, Brad Olson. Great. Yes, we had Brad on and we did a great YouTube outtake. and. Um, yeah, and you talked about Guy. I've had Emery Smith here and stuff too. And he goes, well, I've done the calculations and you talk about 2.2 miles, well, it's going out 300 and something miles each system. 
Wow, that's been phenomenal. Imagine yeah. that. So it, it was very interesting to have here. Um, and then after this, I'll be in Kentucky. We have a center called Zenergy in Kentucky. Um, and so I'll be there the 20th through the 22nd. And then the 25th, there's a conference with Connecting Consciousness. It's hosted by Connecting Consciousness. And I'll be there with uh, Scott McKay. He's going to pick me up with the bus with Charlie Ward. And Jason Shirko is also to join us in Nashville on October 25. Woo-hoo. And then uh, Mickey Willis, I'm supposed to be going to his event with Del Big Tree. Uh, who's also filmed here in our 24 unit system with our doctor and stuff. Um, I had Dell on the show. In fact, right when they released Vax, I, I had the whole, uh, all of them on the show at that time. Yeah, and Dell's great and we've done a lot of stuff with him. So I'll probably be doing some interviews with him then, but I'm supposed to be down there for uh, Mickey Willis and, and Dell. I think that's um, October 30th. Fantastic. Well, there you have it, everyone. The EE System with Dr. Sandra Michaels. And where can people find you? Oh, eesystem.com or unifiedhealing.com. Unified, U-N-I-F-Y-D. Yes. Unifiedhealing.com, but eesystem.com. And, and of course, I talked about the ITNJ. That's really important work on the That's International Tribunal strong. for Natural Justice. And and we're getting ready to do some more um, very high-end hearings and bringing out some more of that um, uh, child trafficking, you know, high-level child trafficking rings material. Um, so there's that. And, and I also work with New Earth University, newearth.university. So I do have a workshop on there that's about three and a half hours that people can do an online workshop with the workbook. And just put in newearth.university. I did it as a contribution to support the university because it's such a fabulous resource. But people love that workshop if they want to really dive deep into the research and the different spook scientists and (laughs) spook science, spook scientists, the different stuff and the medical and, but also how to optimize. I give the lists of, um, you know, it's applied integrated biophysics is what I call that course. But so it's also about the different baths and, and so many different recipes and uh, food lists of you know, yes list and a no list. So for people that have had cancer or different things and to know what we recommend, because I've been helping people reverse cancer and stuff for like 45 years. So I might know a few tricks. <laughs> so so anyway, a lot of that information is in that workbook and workshop. So that's another thing I recommend. Or there's also the Tesla Tech Conference. They recently put that on YouTube. Wow. <laughs> so fantastic. for your, your techies that want the science part, yeah, put in uh, Tesla Tech and Sandra Michael and you'll find me. <laughs> Well, what an honor. This has been a real treat to have you and to bring all of what you bring to the table, but I see it more as your heart and your soul. And it's nice to finally get to speak with you. Thank you for being here and making life brighter. And she was also a part of the truth tour and uh, yours truly will be out on Friday and then in Tampa and then in LA about the time that she's going to be with Scott McKay and Charlie Ward down in Tennessee. So Light is traveling across the country and we are connecting up to speak truth everywhere. So thank you, Dr. Sandra Michaels for all. Nothing more powerful than truth. (laughs) It's the truth that sets us free and it needs to be shared everywhere. No, no more holding back. Yeah, no more restrictions. So yeah, it's really good that that different tours are speaking in different places at the same time and weaving that web across the world. And Absolutely. it's amazing the number of people that are literally waking up across the world now. We had 70,000 emails in the first weekend that uh, the Revolution of Healing was released. So recommend people watch that, The Revolution of Healing share that uh and it's like all all over the world it is and it's been reaching far and wide so it's not going to stop now there's a momentum that's happening that won't change this course and with that 
it's a wave a scalar wave <laughs> yeah absolutely right we like a tsunami <laughs> <laughs> a tsunami a protected tsunami so, of consciousness yeah. Of consciousness and love, infinite waves of love going out to touch the hearts of all beings to feel more love now, in the eternal now space. <laughs> in our now space, we love that. So isn't it fun how all these different tentacles of individuals are coming into being at this point where the awareness of all their work of all the things they've dedicated their life to is finally coming to culmination. And here it is. It's, it's assisting now. It's coming to the forefront for people to make the transitions and changes in ease as best it's they can. A choice. Live your greatest life. No more excuses. Love that. All right, Dr. Sandra Michaels, <laughs> go jolly, everybody. And we will have you back for more. Have a wonderful tour. And thank you for being here and making life brighter. Thank you and aloha, keeping the love, letting go of everything else, oneness with that breath of the love of all life. Glad we're here. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much. One man is growing old and one man is being told that his land is not his own now. He has no place called home. He must learn to be and grow and find time to